Hello everybody, it's Chan on Demand 105 here. So I got another video uh, back with Ethereum today. So I was exploring uh, Reddit today between my classes, and I found something interesting. It's about time for another difficulty spike for Ethereum. That means that means a lot of things. For you are not aware about difficulty spikes, it really affects miners a lot because that's gonna affect your profits. That's gonna affect pretty much uh, the load on your GPUs too. You gotta make sure that. Um, if you have like three gigabyte cards, I don't know. I think those are pushed out by now. I don't. I do. I don't think you can mine on three gigabit cards anymore. All right. So let's see here. So I got the Ethereum difficulty chart pulled up, and I just want to show you guys something here. So uh, July difficulty spike here. You see the little step, and they progressively get bigger. So we have one um, here. Okay. I wanted to distance this a bit more, but I guess it didn't really do that. Okay. So we have a couple difficulty spikes here. And then we're about due for another one. Now that's bad news. We don't want the difficulty going up because that means less profit. But what I did here is because, let me look this up here just to make sure I'm right. So the next difficulty bomb lands in two days according to this guy. Uh, it's going to land a block at 4,300,000 midnight on the 21st of September at current block times. At this point, we will see block time spike to 30 seconds from the current average of about 23.6. And this will directly impact, like I said, the profit, the mining. But Byzantium, I believe that's how you pronounce it, on October 9th, it's going to reverse this difficulty increase. And that's good news for us. We don't know it will be reduced toward of 3F block per block and should roughly equate to what we see today. So basically what's going to happen is that in, in two days we're going to get that difficulty spike. It's going to hold up there till October 9th. We're going to have Byzantium come in, however you pronounce that. I'm, I, I've always pronounced that one wrong. But this, this was just kind of a quick update that I found interesting because I have three systems running right now. And I'm going to show you guys in a future video basically what my systems are and stuff like that. But I, I hope you guys find this entertaining and uh, informative first and foremost because uh, this is something that will affect any miner for that matter. So as you can see you kind of have a trend going on. I'm, I'll probably put this link in the description but it's pretty cool because you can distance this out and then you can see the little spikes as they become bigger throughout the Ethereum history. This one was really big. So we'll have to see what exactly happens with that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you're enjoying this channel, feel free to subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.